At this time, I would like to introduce our guest speaker for the evening, Mr. Jason Lawley. Jason is the founder of Decisive Life, who developed and designed, designed its current programming. He is an experienced motivational speaker who authored Bully. It begins with the I. I just want to take a second to take this in and just see how beautiful you all look today. Like, y'all are dressed to the tens, like for real. You showed up, didn't you? Right? What an exciting day for you. Um, I got some words for you, so I'm just going to go ahead and get to that. It is said an intelligent person learns from their own mistakes, but a wise person learns from the mistakes of others. I say, be both. Be intelligent and wise. Learn from your own mistakes and the mistakes of others. See, we've all made mistakes. No one person is immune to them, we all make them, and I'm sure in the eight years of schooling, most of you have made many, whether academically, socially, or personally. And in those moments, I hope you were able to be both intelligent and wise. If you weren't, it's okay. You don't know what you don't know. That's why I shine light towards its direction to help guide you. So here we are, the end of a chapter, anxiously awaiting what's ahead in the high school years. Now before you get ahead of yourselves and start stressing about the tomorrows, please celebrate today. Please remove the anxiety and angst of tomorrow and focus on the celebration of where you are today which is graduating eighth grade, congratulations. As you move on to another school, I ask you to leave your past mistakes behind you and move forward. This is a valuable time to self-reflect on the years through this journey and learn from what this chapter was meant to teach you. Be open to the lessons of what you will face next and how these life experiences will shape you as you continue towards personal growth. Now I would like to give you a few nuggets, a few gems of wisdom I have learned on my journey over the last 41 years. I have insight I hope to pass down to you to take with you for the benefit of your future self. There's a lot here. There's definitely a lot here. I trust something will speak to you, whether it's one or the sum of what, you, what I say, and I hope it stays with you. Your future self will thank you for the hard decisions and the personal healthy boundaries you draw today. It will thank you for the hard work you put in now so you can rest later and reap its rewards. It will also thank you for having self-awareness of identifying and choosing to honor yourself when you need to rest now and put in the hard work when you have the energy or are more mentally well. Life will always be about balance. And I encourage you to be aware of your needs, both academically and personally. Please don't be afraid to ask for help, both academically and personally. Your future self will thank you for not having to learn the lesson the hard way. Be you, unapologetically. I encourage you to show up as your authentic self. Now I know that's hard when you're trying to learn who you are and you know what? That's okay. Take it one step, one breath, one moment at a time. Now being you unapologetically doesn't mean behave however you want without consequence. It means please stop apologizing simply for being you, for showing up. You get to exist, you get to breathe, you get to have fun, to connect, and experience joy. You get to grow and learn and just be. Now as I spoke previously about mistakes, please take accountability when you make one. The honesty you have with yourself and others in these moments will build trust and strengthen relationships. Relationships many of you may carry with you for the rest of your lives. Now relationships come and go. 
You've learned that. The one constant in any relationship is that you will ever have is you. At the end of the day, they come and go. You will always be left with you. Don't you think that might be the most important relationship you ever build? Please, nurture love within yourself. Because if you don't have an apple, you can't physically give an apple to someone else. And that applies with love. If you don't have love for yourself, you can't give love to somebody else. Again, search within. Learn to embrace yourself with an acceptance like no other. Treat and speak to yourself like someone you love deeply. Someone you hold to the utmost respect. Like someone you dated and loved. Don't be afraid of losing people. Be aware of when you are losing yourself by trying to please everyone else. I think that one needs to be repeated. Don't be afraid of losing people. Become aware of when you are losing yourself by trying to please everyone else. Be present. Don't be so worried about the future or hurt by the past that you are missing the present moment. It truly is a gift, and this moment is where our blessings are. Count them often. You will become whatever it is you tell yourself to the deepest of your cores. What we believe is what we become. So believe in yourself. Believe in your dreams. And speak kindly to yourself. Tend the garden of your mind with love, encouragement, and support. Not self-defeat, criticism, and self-bullying. Be aware of how people speak about other people in front of you. Don't think they won't speak about you that way. When people show you who they are, believe them the first time. Draw boundaries and create distance. Not every conflict requires confrontation and a lack of response absolutely is a response and your boundary stops them from taking your power from you. Please, do not take life too seriously. Make sure to keep balance for self and to take time to play. And lastly, you have and will overcome 100% of the obstacles you face. You literally have a 100% track record in the darkest and hardest moments you've ever faced thus far. In the face of a terrifying exam, you got through it. Stepping up to the plate in a big game, you got through it. Or simply just trying to decide who your friends will be. You got through it. This is when I encourage you to remind yourself of your strength. Remind yourself of your resilience. Remind yourself when you don't think you can, literally speak to yourself like, I can and I will. To close out, I want to thank Legacy Traditional Schools for allowing me to speak to you today. I hope you were able to receive these valuable lessons. Lessons I learned the hard way so I could show up today and shine a light of guidance down the pathway in which you stand at. It's entrance. Nobody can do this for you. You will, like every generation before you, have a major impact on this world. So give it your all. And don't hide your light. Stand empowered and let everyone see the strength and character of who you are and who you are meant to be. So with that, be well, and may you have the grandest adventures. Thank you. Thank you so much. We will now